So about, I have about had it with this thing. Okay, I moved in and there was grass on it. Okay, I got a landscaper. Two, three years ago, um, two, three years, the landscaper was done. I was satisfied that my grass was growing and my house was where I wanted it to be. So I bought and got all my landscaping stuff, no problem. As I was mowing the lawn one day, this was protruding above the grass line, if you could see where my foot is. It probably sunk over the years. So I dug it out, just like this. And I chipped at it, and I hit it with a sledgehammer, and I did all sorts of shit. And at that point, I was like, screw it, I'll make a fire pit. So I took some red bricks, which made its way over there, because it gets muddy, and I made a round fire pit. We used the fire pit two times. Twice, three times the max. So now, we're done. It's uh, May. Grass is growing. We turned around and we're like, hey, let's get rid of the fire pit. We'll get a fire pit for maybe back here. Okay, I had undug it up all again. And I said, oh, wait, that's right. This thing. So I wanted it below the grass line a little bit because, you know, I don't want to make a, not a mess, but whatever. I don't want the lawnmower to hit it. I don't want the, the, the dirt to wash away. So I chipped at it. I got a sledgehammer and I got a drill. I borrowed everything I could borrow, nothing. So finally, here it is, Home Depot. Milwaukee 40 pounder. They had a 90 pounder, but I don't know. This thing has to work. So I wasn't gonna make a video, but now we're gonna make a video. So we're gonna put this piece in right here and I'm just going to see what it does. I'm going to go sideways. They say, you know, you start here, chip out. Maybe I could chip out. It's going to be a complete shit show, but we'll take it. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to keep this thing going because I have to put the, the, not the blade. I got to put the thing in, so I might as well talk about it. I'll put some gloves on. Go get some hearing protection. They give you this nice plug from Home Depot. This red 120 20 amp plug. It's a big, huge one. This is the one they gave me. This is actually not buggered up. You would think that all these tools would get buggered up. So, <coughs> I'm gonna lay this down. Get some ear protection. All right. Let's see. It's going to be very loud. So, just want to. Let you know now, I'm not gonna talk during it. I'll try my conscious effort not to put my ass in front of the computer. The camera. Can't think straight anymore.
<laughs> this has to work. It has to. <laughs>
How do you like that? Is that working out for you? gonna work at this some more. It's getting stuck. I did good. Made a mess, but I did good. Now I'm gonna have to grind it because it's not coming off. Hopefully grinding it loosens it and then I could sledgehammer it and backfill it and no one would ever know. All right, grind it till you find it. I'm gonna go over here <clears throat> so uh, I don't block the view. I try not to block the view. Always need help.
Backing away. <laughs> Just like that. You see that? That's in there like swimwear, kiddos. Well, I'm done. I'm going to clean this up. Return everything. Go get some dirt. And move on. Thanks for watching this installment on how to use a Makita jackhammer from the Home Depot. Ciao for now.